Hey everybody, it's Kevin, East Cape Skiffs. Behind me, a badass Cayman. What we have here is a Cayman that's going to be seen a lot in the East Central area, Mosquito Lagoon, everywhere up from Daytona all the way down to probably Wabasso as well as occasional trips around the state. This belongs to uh, Captain Denny. His website is www.shallowwaterfishingguide.com. Again, shallowwaterfishingguide.com. Dot com. That's Captain Denny's. Let's talk a little bit about his boat. We got the stainless steel rub rail going on. We got the sea breeze color all uh, coming off the all grip chart. We have the ice blue on top. We have two hatches in the front and the back. A first for us is we also have the sea deck seat. Now Captain Denny wanted something very minimalist, very simple, basically something to represent the uh, Bahamian lodge style skiffs that you see over there in the Bahamas. Um, we got the uh, www.carbonmarine.com, Joe Wellborn. We got the tiller pillar on this Tahatsu 50. We also have the loop push poles. You can also get these from Joe at carbonmarine.com. Again, the sea deck is castawaycustoms.com. Uh, Tyler, the hardest working mobile man I know. Uh, we also have the custom uh, push pole holders. Denny actually had these made. Uh, actually, he made them himself. But uh, these are his uh, version of the uh, custom push pole holders. We offer something like that similar. Uh, we got the basic uh, pulling platform. It obviously comes standard on the package. Another first for us is we have the Tahatsu 50. I actually like this motor. This thing's pretty badass. It's uh, quiet. It is fast. Um, not only that, it looks good. And it's small and tiny. Uh, the other thing is we have the C-Deck on top. And then going into the cockpit for the clients, um, Denny made a uh, removable cooler that he'll store for their lunch. And the client sits here. He stands in the back. He's got a little tray right here so you can put his stuff in it. He's obviously got the hatch in the front. You know, we can open it up. He's got a shelf inside so he can store all his gear in the front and back. But the really cool thing about this boat was we actually put a crustacea well. So come with me around the corner over here. We'll take a look at this. It's pretty cool, man. What we did is in the back corner of the boat, we have the air stones going. And uh, basically, Denny will get up in the morning, you know, before the clients show up. He'll walk over to the back corner of the crustacean well, pull the plug. Water level will fill up. He'll put the plug back in, dump his shrimp and crabs in, and then turn on the pump, and he's got everything going. Uh, the other thing is, if he's not using uh, live bait, the shrimp and the crabbies, he'll go ahead and utilize this as a secondary cooler because the whole back spots in here is full of flotation to compensate for what we did for the crustacean well. Um, he also has his fuel water separator on it. He's got his uh, three-blade prop. Um, he's got a nice little trailer going on this. Um, but, you know, he's got the sea deck on the walkboards. What makes this boat so unique is, number one, it belongs to Denny. A uh, little history about Denny. Denny is a longtime guide in the lagoon, well-respected. Um, he knows his stuff. And what made it really cool is the fact that he came to East Cape. He's had other brands. And uh, he knows the difference between perceived value and real value. So we welcome Denny to the East Cape family. And uh, for all you guys out there that are wanting some good red fishing and a damn good time on the water, please look up Denny again. So to everybody out there in cyberspace, y'all take care. See ya. Peace.